This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a paper jam error message on your computer or your printer's control panel. Clear the paper jam from the back of the printer first. Remove any paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Remove the rear access door or duplexer. Check the printer for jammed paper. If you see the paper in the printer, remove the paper by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. If you're using a duplexer, push the latch located on the top and lower its cover. Gently remove any jammed paper from the duplexer. Make sure you remove any torn pieces of paper from the duplexer to prevent future jams. Close the duplexer cover. Reinsert the rear access door or the duplexer into the printer. Check to see if paper is jammed in the front. Be careful when removing paper from the front. It can damage the printer. Open the top cover of the printer. Gently remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all the small pieces that may tear off. Use a flashlight to make sure you've removed all the small pieces from inside the printer. Plug the power cord back in. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try printing a self-test page. On the printer control panel, press the Setup button. Scroll to Print Report and press the OK button. Then, scroll to Self-Test Report and press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from paper dust, ink, and oil from your fingers. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. A clean, lint-free cloth, clean cotton swabs, clean water to dampen the cloth. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Remove the printer's rear access door or the duplexer. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth, lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Use your finger to turn the rollers toward the printer. Make sure you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the roller. Clean the rollers with a moistened cotton swab, removing any buildup or debris. These rollers are difficult to reach but they are the most important to clean. If these rollers inside the printer are not cleaned, this problem will continue because these are the rollers that feed paper into the printer. While the rear door or duplexer is off, check the rollers. Note if any rollers are missing, do not roll freely, and are springy when you push on them. These conditions could prevent rollers from feeding properly and mean that the rear door or duplexer needs to be replaced. If you're using a duplexer, also clean the inside rollers. On the back panel of the duplexer, clean the rollers inside with a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Make sure you rotate the rollers as you clean them to remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the roller. 
replace the printer's rear access door or the duplexer. Plug the power cord back in. Turn the printer on. Load paper into the input tray. Try printing a self-test page. On the printer control panel, press the Setup button. Scroll to Print Report and press the OK button. Then, scroll to Self-Test Report and press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.